Utah's real estate is as diverse as its climate. From the summits of Park City all the way to the Red Rocks of St. George, Utah's real estate is bursting with character. Utahns love their real estate. But it's always evolving and changing, whether somebody wants to sell it or remodel it. This is Utah Real Estate Essentials. Well, it's just so fun. So Clay, take a look at that beautiful landscape. We're headed out to the beautiful area, which is Elk Ridge. And of course, you know that area, right? That's great. I love that. Just right down there by Payson and kind of close to things, but you're still in that nice rural and close to the mountains. I really like that area. Yeah, take a look at this beautiful Rambler. Isn't this spectacular? That is. I love the colors they, they have right there. And I also just love the rock work they have on the front as well. That's that's really well done. Yeah, adorable little property. Great little. Let's talk a little bit about Elk Ridge. You, you, you're kind of down in that area, so you know the cellar area real well, right? Yeah. In fact, I lived in Springville for quite a while. And then, of course, as you know, I, I primarily in, in the Orem area. But, you know, I had a friend right there and it was kind of nice. We'd take the four wheelers right from his house and just go riding right up the canyon. It was, I just loved the, how close you were to things, both from a rural perspective and then also just from a, uh, just from a, you know, close to the things in the city perspective as well. Yeah, super desirable. People don't want to be away from it a little bit, love Elk Ridge. And so the, these areas have become really, really popular, uh, but there's been a lot of growth out there as we are flying over outside. You can see there's a lot of homes being built out in this area, a lot of yeah. desirability. Yep, there's some builders that are really focusing on that and, and you're seeing a lot more of that. And as a result, you know, Jay, you're seeing kind of, you know, Right now it's really good. The price is still really good, but you're starting to, you're going to start seeing those creep up a little bit with that. Yeah. So take a look at this beautiful Rambler. We're talking at 4,022 square feet. It's three bedrooms and two baths finished on the main floor. You're over 2,000 square feet, which is, that's ideal, right? And that is a great design. And man, you know, just going through this property too, I really like what they've done with this. Um, just with the wood and the granite and the kitchen. I just think this is, I'm really liking the look of this property and yeah. the vaulted ceilings too. I like 2,000 square feet. I had a Rambler. My first Rambler that I had was about 2,000 square feet on, on each level, and it was nice, big, spacious. And this was this particular home has a really nice layout and floor plan. It really lays out well, nice colors. The basement still can, uh, still need, uh, can be finished out, so if you want to add a bench more square footage, you can. As you can see, there's the master bedroom, which of course is on the main floor. You got to have that, right? Yeah, and you know, I, you're exactly right. That's just a great amount of square footage to really have on one level and then to still have that to grow into. And yeah, this is this is nice. And like you said, as we're walking going through this, this layout is really well done. Yeah, nice. Three bedrooms, two bath, uh, two uh, baths on the main floor, which is really nice. It's on just a little over a quarter acre. It's, of course, got that three car garage. It's got lots of light, as you can see, lots of those windows coming in and get real shiny. This is looking at the master bath right here, which is, you know, nicely laid out. It is. Like I said, I love it when you have those master um, bath bathrooms like that with all that light coming in. It just, I really like that a lot. Yeah, and it's got another 2,000 square feet that you can finish out in the basement. So if you want to have a, a really big house, you're getting into 4,000 square feet on this. And the nice thing about this one, this one's only listed $106 a square foot. You know, that is, that's amazing in this market because we've both seen what things are going for. And especially for something that's built as nicely as this and just, just so well done, it's really really priced well, Jay, especially yeah. in this market. Yeah, because I mean, you can easily get into $120, $130 a square foot. Uh, Absolutely. But to have this with the three car garage, nice little acreage, as you can see, they've done some nice landscaping and, and it's got some room to grow out, which is great. This is, a, this is a house that you could have for years and years. Yeah, people underestimate how big 2,000 feet is on one level and then to have that to be able to grow and expand into that into a basement. Yeah, this is kind of like you can just keep growing with your family into that into that extra space. Yeah, and Elk Ridge is going to continue to grow. You know, it's it's a it's right up next to the mountains, as you can see right there. It's a little higher altitude, so they get some really nice weather up there, which is nice. And eh, you got a nice little flyby right there. I like it. I'm liking this one a lot, Jay. Yeah, beautiful little property. And only $106 a square foot. This is a tremendous value. Hey Clay, for this one, we're gonna be heading up to Oakley, which is right in Summit County. So uh, I, the people that haven't ever been to Oakley, and to be honest with you, I haven't really been out there. It's right just past Park City, about a half hour 
uh, a beautiful area, and it's still one of those kind. Of, it's one of those. It's one of those places where you want to kind of get away from things. If you don't want to live downtown, this is the other side. So you're getting into two acres on this one. And when I drove up into the area, they it's one thing to have a gas station. But they have a gas station with like one pump, and then they have the one they have the guy that comes out and pumps the gas for you. You just don't see that anymore. You don't. It's kind of that old Mayberry feel, you know. I mean, that is that's incredible. And you know, more people there saying, "Hey, I just want something like kind of get away from everything." Yeah, because this kind of property never goes out of style, you know. And this is in no. they've got beautiful views and beautiful mountains. If you love the outdoors and the lakes and you know hunting and all that kind of stuff, this is one of the the most the one of the best places. And so, one of the this house has got everything. Of course, it's got a big nice home on it. It's got its own shop. It's got its own corral. It's got a place for your horses to stay. It's got a place for your chickens. It's got a place for your dog. You know, it's got a basement apartment down the lower level. And so it's a walkout. The basement on the lower level is a walkout. So it's almost like a second apartment. It's got a kitchenette down there and everything. And so, gosh, if you want to get away from it and you want a little bit of horse property, this could be your home. It's perfect. You know, you have this knack, Jay, for finding these properties where they literally think almost everything when they set up the property. And this just falls right in line with that. Yeah, and so this was somebody's dream. When they came out there, they would add land, they would have, and they built their home, and then they put all the stuff around it. The things were important to them. And, but if you think about it, it's somebody that wants to have horses and wants to have that kind of outdoor area, you know, kind of that living area. This is perfect for them, you know? It, it is, it, it is. And like I said, it's just kind of away from it all. And then it's just a, yeah, this is so accommodating in so many ways. Yeah, I keep looking out the, it keeps going by looking out these windows and stuff. The outside, the thing that's gonna really sell this property is that it's two acres on horse property because those are hard to find in little quaint little communities like this. And so, yeah, they all, they're always super desirable. They never go out of style, right? Well, and that's the thing is you can get some you know, different farmland property, but where this one is sitting are in the mountains and such beautiful scenery, it's hard to beat that. Yeah, for sure. They they have loved this property. They've been there forever, and it's time for them to go uh, for a change in their life. So this is this one's come on the market, and this one's going to be hot. Somebody that wants to you know kind of have that house, and so we're looking at about 3,706 square feet. It's got six bedrooms. It actually has four on the main floor, and down in the basement they've got two. They've got three full baths, uh, one half bath. Like I said, they've got a three car garage and then they've got a big shop. The shop on the back would fit at least another four cars. If you wanted to fit four cars in that garage as well, or in that, that kind of uh, work area, the kind of storage shed. Um, yeah. They, they've got plenty of room in there. They've got, I mean, it's all fully uh, done with electricity and everything. And take a look at the back deck. That's the first snow <laughs> of the winter. Do you oh. see this? Oh yes, I'm loving that. Yeah, I think they must, they're definitely a high altitude Summit County, as you can see. They've still got a little snow and it's kind of sticking. That's kind of crazy. That is, that is. It's kind of fun to get to the mountains and you see some of those things a little bit earlier, but wow, that is spectacular. Yeah, so taking a look at around at their land, a, a vast amount. When you're talking about two acres, that's a lot. And it lays out really well because the back of their house kind of looks out on their little deck and then they've got that lower area where you walk out from your basement and take a look at this. There's the shop right there. There's the inside of it. Plenty of room. If you want to work on stuff, it's got heat in there. It's got everything you need and place for your car to park on the side. And there's where your horse would go. This, this is a dynamite little property. I like this one a lot. I do too. Good little one, right out there in Summit County. So you're buying a new house, and what if something breaks in the first year? Ask your agent to get an Elevate home warranty. We cover major systems like your appliances, your plumbing, your electrical, your hot water heater, your furnace, your garage door opener, and we also do rekey. So next time you buy a house, just don't buy any old home warranty, buy an Elevate home warranty.
So Jeremy, I used to be one of those people that went online, you know, I clicked that really low rate, mm -hmm. and, but then as I switched over to you guys, I realized I'm, I'm paying on this boat for the last two years I don't even own anymore. Right, right. Is that, is that like common? Yeah, it happens, this happens all the time, right? You're not talking to a person that you know personally. Yeah. Uh, as an agent, uh, for myself, my agency, I, we, I meet with all my clients personally. I meet with them every year. Yeah. Make sure that everything is adding up. Uh, make sure that we're getting the best rates every year. Uh, things change over the course of time. And so yeah. we wanna make sure that everything adds up. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. So you get local representation, somebody to watch out for your specific need, right. and you get the lowest rates. Absolutely, That's absolutely. Perfect. So Clay, for this one, we're headed down to Heaper Valley and we know this house, right? Oh my word, I remember when you first had this. This is this is an amazing home, Jay. Yeah, this... take, a, take a look at the landscaping on this house. You're sitting on almost six and a half acres in the Heber Valley and it is perfectly laid out in those most beautiful cul-de-sac and all the houses sit on lots of the size that are just amazing like this. And the beautiful uh, the landscaping is absolutely amazing. And these people decked this house out, made it absolutely beautiful. Now, if you if you notice up there behind, it's got some beautiful views of Timpanogos. It does, amazing views. And you know what I love is the property on this. You see a lot of these high-end homes, Jay, and I'm surprised how close they are to one another. This is always what I've imagined if I had a big home, to have that kind of space around yeah. the home. Take a look at the beautiful views that they have right there. And as we're flying over the top, of course, you can't miss that there's a baseball park. But that's not in the <laughs> that's not in the park next to it. That's part of your landscaping. You got your own baseball field in the back, and then behind that, you can see where the Heber Creeper, which only runs, you know, a couple times a year uh -huh. or whatever that is, it's right out the back. So during those special times, you know, during the winter oh, yeah. or whatever, watch the Heber the Creeper Polar go by. The Polar Express goes by. Yeah, yeah. it's that's, amazing. That is. There's a nice aerial shot. This oh. is a magnificent property you can see in the cool there's so many things going for this property but the number one thing I want to talk about is the seller is made about a 10% price reduction Wow that's a lot that is I mean yeah. on a property of this size about three million dollars that's that's he's made about a three hundred and fifty thousand dollar price reduction <sighs> That's, that's huge. It is huge yeah. because the land alone on this property is worth its weight in gold, you yep. know what I mean? And its location is beautiful. On the inside, you can see they spared no expense. And if we go around and look at this property, it's absolutely amazing. They really put a lot of time and money, uh, but they've got some stuff. They're gonna be in San, uh, down in uh, Southern Utah, and so they're not gonna be in the area, so they're gonna sell this property. And a 10% price reduction when you're at, uh, you know, around $3 million. So right now we're at two. 2.649. That is, you know, this is the time to buy a property like this, Jay. And I was just talking to a specialist, kind of an analyst on this, and they said, you know what? In five years, this is the type of property where you're going to see the equity just dramatically go up. Right. And look at the finishes in this. Yeah. Well, because the location and where it's at, you can't replace this. Heber Valley just doesn't have you know, these really nice lots on this nice cul-de-sac, nice, uh, you know, location, parks, and all this kind of stuff right there next to, you know, the... Um, the lakes that are right in that area. If you love skiing in the outdoors, you can't be in a better location. That's right. You if know? we could move this up to Park City, this oh house would word. be, this the house probably would be 12 million. And really you're only, what, 30 miles from yeah. Park City? Yeah. And you're, you know, you have those ski resorts, the canyons right there in between in Park City and, yeah. oh, wow, look at that. Yeah. You, know, you get, a, you get, get your that. own basketball <laughs> court. I mean, it's got heated floor in there. I mean, this is, I mean, decked out your, your home theaters on the main floor. You got your big office right there and the special property going downstairs, which is more considered kind of a uh, lower level on this one, almost like a two-story that you enter in on the second floor mm -hmm. on this home. And this one, you get us a big space. Of course, there's still great views uh, down on this level. Well, one of the nice mm -hmm. things about, uh, I want to talk about the landscaping, because the landscaping, you think about a house this size, mm -hmm. on six and a half acres, you'd spend a lot of money on landscaping. But they've got a, a local guy that lives around there that maintains all the thing really inexpensive he's retired and that's what he used to do and so he loves this sort of thing and so he does super inexpensive yeah and he wants to continue to do it yeah, you know that is great because if you can find a, a setup like that in this situation and you, again you got the pool you have the basketball yeah, court indoor the pool i mean so this yeah. this is the outbuilding this is almost like the guest quarters right here and it's got the indoor swimming pool it's got the hot tub and it's got a living uh living area above the pool 
it's got two kitchens in this uh, building alone. Yeah. And so you can be barbecuing out there, and there's some of those beautiful views. This is kind of the back, uh, you kind of consider the east part of the property where they've got, where they used to have a, 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 a track out there for the kids to, you know, race their motorcycles. BMX and motorcycles. Yeah. yeah. It's pretty cool, but you could do a lot of things with that. This is but, like straight off of Cribs. Oh, it really know? is. I yeah. mean, if you think about it, I mean, this is straight off of Cribs. This is somebody's dream home. They've moved on, and now it's a really incredible value. And there you go. At uh, 2.6499, this is, and look at that roof line. Oh, architecture is amazing. Headed down to the Arches and Canyonlands National Park, let's see what's popular on Moab with Rachel Moody. Hi Jay, welcome back down to the Moab Valley. We are headed up to an area we call the Highlands to take a look at a couple of parcels up in the Canyonlands Estates and Juniper area. Right now we're looking at this gorgeous little building lot. It is a couple of acres, 2.31 acres here on Canyonland Circle. Oh, very nice. And so this uh, I, ideally would be a single family home, right? Yeah, a single family home. You could also put in an accessory dwelling. This whole, this parcel of land here would allow for you to have horses. So that would be a nice feature to have up in this area. Yeah, that's great. Horse property is always really valuable. And on two and a, was it two and a half acres? Is that what it was? Uh, it's 2.31. Um, this one's located in an area that wouldn't allow you to subdivide it, but um, you could definitely have a single family home, an accessory dwelling. Um, on that one. Um, this one, we're headed up to Juniper Drive, and this is a larger acreage parcel that's not inside that subdivision. This one does not have those types of covenants, so you could actually subdivide it. It's 3.88 acres, so you could have up to three separate lots on this one. Um, it also is horse property and has um, a lot of potential to do quite a few different things. Um, but what a great setting and a great location up here in the Highlands area. Yeah, land never goes out of stock because you guys are really limited on land out that area, right? We are. We only have about 4.5% private land. And although it looks like we have huge acreage parcels out here, we really don't. And not a lot of our parcels allow horses at this time or equestrian properties. So these ones are really special. Yeah, so scarcity is always good in real estate, right? Absolutely, scarcity equals value. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> so if somebody wanted more information, how would they contact you? Uh, they should reach me on my cell phone. It's 435-260-8245, or they can find me on my website, moabrico.com. So Mike and Clay, I know there's a new program coming out that might be able to help people down payments on conventional loans. Yes, yeah. yeah. So they used to have this on FHA, but now they're going to do it with conventional, which is huge, right? And people don't know about it. You're exactly right. They've always equated that to the FHA loan, yeah. you know, that you can get the down payment assistance. Well, this one's actually, we hit on this a few weeks ago when we were here at Jay, and we were talking specifically about the Home Ready and the Home Possible uh -huh. by Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. Just 3% down on that program. Yeah. The thing that we didn't hit on on that is 100% of that 3% can be gifted. Oh, really? Yes. And that's been, that's just that's huge. huge. Oh, yeah. Now, in, in all honesty, there were some community home buyer seconds in very specific locations before that you could say, okay, I'm buying that location. I get it. But if you're in that location and you yeah. didn't have somebody, so it's like funds, almost neighborhood to neighborhood. This yes. one worked, this one didn't, right? Exactly right. Yeah. Exactly right. So they made some changes there. They've been pretty significant. Mm -hmm. So we, we kind of have an inside track here. So there is a new program that's not even out yet that is going to allow the borrower to get get down payment assistance for 3% on that Home Ready program. Yeah. And the reason this is so huge is the Home Ready, it has cancelable mortgage insurance once you hit your 20% equity. And if you remember from last time, it, it, the LLPAs, loan level price adjustments, that's what affects your interest rate and your um, mortgage insurance according to LTV FICO scores. Those are lower. So not only are you going to get a lower interest rate price home payment, you're also going to not have to come up with a down payment. That's huge. It is. It's a game changer. It's oh. a big game changer for a lot of people out there. And like I said, it, it outperforms the FHA loan in almost every situation. Mm -hmm. People are always looking at it. 
we actually were just teaching and it's a class. never been that way it's never been that way we were just teaching a class and we asked people how many of you have heard of the home ready home possible program i think it was about 20 people in the classroom and we said how many of you, agents real estate agents how many of you guys have heard about this because we're kind of providing some education on what's yeah. taking place one hand was it one hand i think i don't think there was a single so one they kind of looked at blank stares yeah it's just not common knowledge out there yet because it hasn't been something that's been implemented for a very long time Looking around the state, let's head over to Park City and see what's trending with the David Lawson team. Yeah, so this house is uh, address is 2305 Creek Crossing Loop, and it's in the Aspen Creek Crossing neighborhood, right at the Canyons Village. So a great single family home with great access uh, to skiing. You can literally walk to the base of the resort. Yeah, it's beautiful. I love that roof. It looks like they've got some solar panels on there as well, huh? They do. Uh, they have solar. It's a super efficient home. Uh, actually, the driveway and walkway are also heated. And here we are entering the house and you're greeted by this amazing fireplace. Uh, and then you have an additional fireplace right there in the living room area. Yeah, I love how they, they combined all those different woods and all the different stone in there. It's, it's very appealing. It's very Park City, which I love. Yeah, it's a, it's a beautiful rustic home. You can see the vaulted ceilings. It's a great open space. Uh, if you're looking for an open floor plan, uh, it doesn't get much better than this. And then you've got, uh, just right off to the side, you've got uh, your master bedroom. And here we are in the kitchen with that great island for entertaining and prepping. Uh, they have two dishwashers here, a large refrigerator, a great stove top. Uh, it's just, it's a really well done kitchen with a lot of light. Okay, great. So how many bedrooms and baths are we talking about on this? So this home's five bedrooms. Uh, here's the master I was talking about. This is on the main floor. You, it's a large master, so you could easily put a desk in there if you wanted to as well. You get your full closet uh, and your master bath. Then you have two additional bedrooms upstairs and two downstairs with a flex room where you could use as a bedroom or an office, plus a theater room, plus a workout room. Uh, it's just, it, this house has everything. Yeah, it's beautiful. They did a really nice job. So tell me a little bit about, sometimes people set these up as rentals. Is that an option on this one? It is actually, uh, yeah, a lot of single family homes in Park City, you're not allowed to do nightly rentals, but this one in this neighborhood, legally, you are allowed to do nightly rentals. So uh, Airbnb, VRBO, uh, they are all possibilities. So it offers a lot of flexibility to a homeowner. Wow, that's, that's incredible because you could own this house have it as a second home, be renting it out, making the mortgage payment. So you basically have your a free rental. You can make money. You turn around and make money on a house like this. Yeah, like I said, a lot of flexibility to the owner. Uh, they can do whatever they want. Legally, they can rent the house out and it's a great location. It's a, it's a big home, it's 8,600 square feet. So lots of space for everyone to, to uh, move about the house and have their own space. And here's that theater I was talking about, a dedicated theater room. Uh, it's beautiful. Here's an additional bedroom. Uh, and, and there's seven fireplaces. We just saw a fireplace. There's seven fireplaces throughout the home. It's eight bathrooms, five bedrooms with that additional flex room like I mentioned before. Yeah, they did a, they did a really nice job of putting all the colors and styles and everything into this home. I, I really like it. It's got, a, it's got a very warm Park City feel. Just, it'd be perfect if you get off the ski ski slopes and you go walking into your, your big, beautiful home here. It would be really enjoyable. Yeah, it, it is absolutely a beautiful home. It's a very convenient home as well. Uh, you have laundry on each floor. There's radiant throughout the home, so it's a very comfortable home. Uh, we mentioned in the house last week, same thing. You walk in from skiing and you've got these warm, comfortable floors. Yeah, your feet feel great when you walk into the house and it, it just, it keeps the, the house uh, at a great uh, temperature all day long. So Mike, if somebody wanted more information about this particular home, how would they contact you? They can just give me a call on my cell phone. It's 435. 640-6467 or they can visit us online at lawsonrealestateteam.com Let's head down to the Red Rocks of St. George and see what the Ames team is up to. We have a really cool, unique cottage style home for you guys this week. Yeah, definitely unique. This is not something I've seen from you guys before. Tell me about this. Right, so this one's actually two separate buildings. 
The front of it is a, a, a home that has a lot of cottage cute style feel to it. And there's actually a detached building in the back that's currently zoned as a business studio and that could be used as another living, livable casita living space. Wow, it's almost like a duplex then. Almost. Yeah, really unique. Uh, but then business uh, opportunity is huge because anytime you can have a, a business running from there, you can use that on all kinds of different ways. Absolutely. So again, the front is the home. It's ready to go as a home, moving ready. And the back one is currently zoned as commercial, but with just a very simple added breezeway, it could be used as a residential. So ton of possibilities with this home. Great property. It's over a third of an acre and would be a great business or like a yoga studio or office or daycare. Or again, could be a big, great casino for all the friends and family to come visit. Yeah, really unique. Oh, so, so tell me about where this is at in St. George, because I don't recognize it because as we're looking at the outside of it, I don't recognize the area. So this is on Diagonal Street. It's in a, a really downtown centralized part of St. George and close to shopping, close to everything you ever need, really close, really centralized and has pretty much everything you need. Yeah, definitely a unique property. It's not something we run across all the time because anytime you can get into uh, a rental possibilities, even business, a property, their uh, highest and best use goes way up. Exactly right. Yeah. And, and duplexes, I mean, if you can even go close, it looks like this one, I mean, you'd want to look at it and want to run it past the city, I guess, to figure out how, how you could use it best, right? Right. And with this listing, if you want to check with us, we'll show you all the documents that's been approved and what the city has let us know about the property. So again, feel free to reach out to us or call us and let us know and we can give you all the details you need about this property. But the cool thing is, again, a ton of potential, over a third of an acre. And the back studio, which you see here pretty quickly, has a ton of room for whatever you'd like to do with it and a big shop or shed or area to do whatever you'd like with it. Yeah, okay, cool. So how many bedrooms and baths, what are we talking about as far as square footage and lot size? So the home itself is just over 1,800, almost 1,900 square feet. And the detached, we'll say studio, is just over 1,000 square feet. Yeah, pretty and big. On, on paper, yeah, on paper, it's a four bed, two and a half bath, but there's, again, a ton of potential to be added onto that or to be changed around. But the cool thing is with the studio, it's full living quarters, so it has a, a full kitchen, a full bathroom, closets, and you can see here a very big open space with a ton of potential to do whatever your mind could imagine. Yeah, and this obviously has been upgraded, and it's much newer. Which is much, really much nice. newer. Yeah, this yeah. is built pretty recently. Yeah, and good. So how big is the lot? Because the lot looks pretty big. The lot is just over a third of an acre. Yeah, that's a really cool, unique property. So Chase, if somebody wanted more information, how would they reach out to you? You can call us at 435-674-6011 or email us directly at aimsteam at sgremax.com.